Today um, we are celebrating the 50th anniversary of ILRI, the International Livestock Research Institute here in Addis, uh, Ethiopia. We are also launching our new strategy. My excitement is because we've, uh, we are taking stock of the work that we've done for the past 50 years and that work is really exciting. We've built strong partnerships, we've deepened our relationship with the government of Ethiopia, different agencies going from the Ministry of Agriculture to the Ministry of Health to the Agriculture Transformation Institute. So we've built all that, but we also have made considerable progress. We've delivered solutions to support livestock in all communities here in, um, in Ethiopia. That's my excitement. The new strategy is really giving us um, the opportunity to integrate our work much more and provide solutions to rather complex issues. One key thing that we would like to do is really to innovate, develop solutions, but keeping a climate lens and resilience, you know, ensuring that farming communities are resilient in the face of climate shocks. Yeah. Our challenges are really um, about responding to, to things fast, you know, in, during drought seasons and anticipated drought, what can we do as a, as a livestock organization or as the CGIR? So my excitement is our ability to respond to uh, some elements of the climate crisis that are immediate ensuring that farmers have access to, to the right breed of animals, that have, uh, climbers have access to the right information around climate and weather pattern to make decisions, that farmers also have access to some of the innovations that may not be in their communities and, various, and that are from similar community and that can help them in the short term. Yeah, I'm also excited because our relationship with um, national institutions is really mature. So we understand each other, we can co-develop, we can expect things, we can manage expectations, and we can mobilize more resources to do the work that we are called to do. So that's my excitement looking at uh, 2030. But the last thing I want to mention is also our ability to talk about livestock as a commodity, but within the food systems in the country. And for that, I want to commend the government of Ethiopia for setting, in, uh, for setting up the food transformation strategy, which is a very good framework, helping us to see how we can develop things that are needed in the country. Yeah.